Hey guys, what is up? I am back with another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to bypass iCloud Lock using iBypasser from iMyPhone. But before we get into the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because I make tons of content just like this that you definitely do not want to miss. Let's get into the video. So guys, before I show you how to bypass the iCloud on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod, I need to let you know that we are doing a giveaway of iBypasser, and all you have to do to enter the giveaway is subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, hit the like button, and leave a comment. Now, I'll show you how to bypass the device. So guys, in order to do this bypass, you're gonna need a Mac or Windows computer. It works on both of them. It's the iMyPhone iBypasser. And now I'm gonna show you guys how to use it. So here you guys can see I am in the iMyPhone iBypasser. And before I say anything, I need to tell you what devices are supported. So anything from iOS 12 and up that is in between the iPhone 5S and 10, all of those devices work. So guys, now I'll show you how to do the activation lock bypass. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and plug in your device and then head over to this screen right here. For this video, I'm gonna be using an iPhone 6 Plus on iOS 12.5.1. But as I said before, it'll work for any device iOS 12 and up between the 5S and the iPhone 10. So just go ahead and click this option right here. And once you're on the screen, just go ahead and click Start. Click Start Jailbreak. And then you're going to need to click Start. If you don't have the ability to click Start, you're going to need to go to Options and Allow Untested Versions. But this one is going to let me do it just normally, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So just go ahead and click Start. Click Next and your phone will go into recovery mode. So once it moves to the next screen, you're gonna to wanna to follow the on-screen steps as soon as you press start in order to put it into DFU mode and bypass the activation lock. So go ahead and click start when you're ready. And my device has entered DFU mode, and now it's going to start booting. It is now booting up from the check rain. You can see that it is now finished and we can go ahead and move on to the next step. So just go ahead and click back onto iBypasser and then click next. Then it's gonna confirm the device you have plugged in. Go ahead and make sure all this is correct and then click start bypass. And you can see it's now on the menu and it says successfully bypassed. So we can go ahead and click done and move over to the iPhone. So you guys can go ahead and unplug your device now. And we can set it up. So this time it's going to be a little different. So let's go into the setup. Just go through it. And this time it just skips right past it. So you can go through data and privacy and get right through it.
And now we're in the phone. And here we are on the menu. Now, a couple things you need to do is if you go down into your settings, do not sign in to your phone through here. You need to sign in through the App Store or the iTunes Store in order to use your iCloud account. And then another thing you need to not do is don't erase it from here. If you erase it from here, it'll go back to being iCloud Lock, but that is okay as long as you still have iBypasser because you can use it as many times as you need to. But it is untethered, so if I go ahead and restart the device, it will still be unlocked, and I'll show you that now. And we're gonna load back into the setup menu and then we just go through it and we're back to the data and privacy. So no iCloud lock, even if you restart the device, you just have to go back through the menu, which is not a big deal because, hey, you don't have to go back on the computer and put it in. But if you guys do reset your device, like I said before, you can just go into iBypasser and redo it as many times as you need to, but you won't need to if you don't restore it. So once again, back to the menu, and it's still bypassed. So no matter how many times you turn your phone on or off, or if the battery dies or anything, you can just turn it right back on or plug it in, and it'll come right back on, completely untethered, and it works fantastically. The only way you would ever need to deal with the iCloud lock anymore is if you did restore the device, in which case you could just use iBypasser to get rid of that in some very simple steps. Don't forget, guys, that we are doing a giveaway. I have teamed up with iMyPhone to bring you guys a free code. So don't forget, all you need to do is subscribe, turn on notifications, like the video, and leave a comment. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one.